Hi everyone, it's Adriana here and today I'm going to show you the new stamping colour sets from Couture Creations. It's called the Homely Florals Collection. I'm using one of the stamp. There are four in the collection and I'm also using some of the other elements in the collection. So this is the stamp set. It's a really pretty um, acacia dreams. Beautiful flowers in the vase, but I'm not going to stamp the vase. I'm going to use those flowers and create a beautiful border around my cardstock to create different techniques using the same stamp that you can create straight away with a, doing a vase of flowers but I just wanted to show something that you can use differently now using lots of things from Couture Creations. So here I have the stamp precision set. This is a great tool for stamping. I'm using this with some blending cards paper all available from Couture Creations. I'm inking the stamp pad using the stamp and colour outline ink pad. It's a black, there's also pink and soft grey and I'm using that to create this flower border for my card. It's a very simple card but I'm just showing you different ways that you can use stamp sets. You don't have to use them as they are and I think these flowers create, will create a beautiful background for any type of project, even in an art journal, will look really lovely. Now, the Stamp Precision Set um, tool here comes with two magnetic holders to hold down your paper, but you can buy extra magnetic holders as well. You can buy another pack of two. Now, as you can see, I place a, a piece of um, plastic film underneath my cardstock because it will stamp over. Because I'm actually stamping the whole stamp over the cardstock but it stamps over. I didn't want to dirty my precision stamp pad tool here so I place a piece of acetate underneath my cardstock so that way I can just wipe it clean. That's another tip for you. So here I have two pages here that I've stamped with the stamp and the outline pad ready to create and colour in now with my alcohol ink markers. That's the stamp pad. It comes with lots of different other elements as well. A few flowers and a few sentiment words. Really nice stamp set. This is the outline ink pad. It's available in black, soft grey and pink. I use the black. So the alcohol ink markers, there's 108 colours. They come in a beautiful tub. And this is a colour wheel and also this is the effortless blending combination. I suggest you download this from our website. I'll have the link below to download this great chart of using great combinations. And if you want to colour in, and that's what I've done here, I've used some of the green combination that I've used one of the, the three colours of the combination to get my green flowers and also my beautiful acacia flowers in the sort of orangey and yellow tones. So I've had listed down below all the products I've used in my video and also the colours of the alcohol ink markers are also in the description below. So I'll just fast forward this. I don't think you need to see me colour in with the alcohol ink markers but I use the technique of using the darker colour first and colouring in with the lighter ones and gradually highlighting with the blender, there was zero alcohol ink marker. It's called the blender. Oh, what's the real name for it? Oh, there we go. It's a colorless blender that really highlights the colors and really gives it depth to your coloring in. So just watch me as I color in the leaves and the flowers of my stamped image. I also colored another one in sort of purpley, pinky tones with the highlights in yellow, just to create a different colour theme as well.
So you just watched me now while I coloured that in and I've also coloured the top part here as well. And once that finishes, finished that looks like this. So now I'm going to be using a stencil and also my beautiful deluxe heart shaped blending brush. This is the one I use a lot with using the Card Deco pigment inks. I'm using the olive green to create a beautiful background with my stencil. It's just to give it a bit of depth and a bit of colour to the background or else it just stays a bit too stark. You may like it really nice and white but I just like it to add a little bit of depth in the background. So here I have my stencil. I'm using this one here. It looks like little bubbles, little peds, pebbles or little bubbles. I really like this one. And using my heart shaped deluxe blending brush. This is a beautiful brush. It's very soft and using the Card Deco olive green pigment ink I'm just rubbing that all over the background to create a beautiful stencil image. The brush is so easy to use and once you've used this colour you just wipe it over some paper towel to get rid of any excess but I tend to use this colour a lot and also you tend to use like a bronzy brown colour so I have one of these each of the same one that I use all the time. So there you see the beautiful edges here and also the stencil image just coming through on the background. Just going around the edges now. And in the centre of my card, I place some of the embellishments or the die cuts that are available with the Homely Floral Collection. There's some beautiful sentiments included in the, the ephemera set and I added that inside in the middle of my card. There you can see that beautiful stenciled image and there's that beautiful brush that I used to create my Card. I also use the little stamp that's included in this set and cut out, coloured and cut out some little flowers just to add some depth and I place them on my card with some foam tape and then adding on a new product that's available from Couture Creation, some crystal accent. This 3D crystal accent is a beautiful 3D dimensional product that when it dries it comes out really nice and and glossy and I really like that just add some depth to your projects. This is the other one that I created it's got the flowers all colored in pinks and yellows and this is also another card I created using the hello word sentiment it's just another card really quick card so I have all the description below in all the products that I've used and some links to the all the products and also some other techniques and videos. Thanks for watching with me today. I hope you've inspired you to create with these stamp and colour sets and alcohol ink markers, all available from Couture Creations. Please visit my blog and also visit couturecreations.com.au for some more inspirational products that are coming out very soon. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye for now.